sisters, thank y'all so much for coming to the movie. And huh, y'all see my new uh, color chalk? Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Come on in. Bring your Kool-Aid, your cocktail, your water. Let's uh, sit and chat with this hood girl to the hood. All right, y'all. Y'all ready for the movie? I am. I'm excited. And I'm going to tell y'all why. So look here. The production is old leftovers. Y'all already know. The director is them poke bones. The camera is mine. The camera is mine. This is still September, y'all. It's in the middle already. Get ready. Get ready for the new month that's coming. But still live one day at a time. This is scene two. Take two. Let's roll the tape. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? It's good to be back. Y'all, come on to this long table. Let's get ready to pass the food. Pass the food. Yeah. Let's say prayers, y'all. We're going to toast, and we're going to be eating. And the, oh, ooh, I'm just so excited. Give me a moment. Oh my God, I just want to say thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you for joy, sorrow, mercy, grace. Oh, my God, for everything that you're doing in our lives. I... I feel your spirit. It has been with me since I got on off my knees last night. Oh my God, I just want to say thank you. Who oh, have your way. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body and for all those who are looking at me at this very moment. Bless them according to your purpose and your praise. Oh, mm, my God. Mm. Thank you. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Many, many, man. <sighs> Y'all, the joy I have, the world did not give it to me. My God, something is happening, y'all. Remember I said two months ago, five months ago, and six months ago, keep your eyes on this hood, girl. God is doing something in my life, I'm telling you, and I'm ready for it. <laughs> y'all, I'm so ready. So look, look, salute. Y'all, I'm telling you, thank y'all for coming back, sticking and staying. Those who uh, are gone, I still look at you and I'm praying for you still. So yes, so this is for all my new subscribers and my veterans subscribers. You know, thank y'all for sticking and staying. And that that is true. So look, I'm glad y'all. Thank you. So, uh, salut. Salute. Let's sip, sip this good hood stuff. Salute, y'all. Cheers. Y'all, we got the leftovers. Y'all already know this hood girl will not throw no food away. So, I'll freeze it before I, I uh, throw it away. You know, waste not, have not. Waste not, won't not. Y'all know I always try to do eating good slogan, but y'all already know. So, look, we're going to do some hot sauce. Well, y'all may not like hot sauce, y'all. So, look here. Let me tell y'all. Let me, let, me, let me give y'all some first. You know, for those who don't like hot sauce or hot food. Um, here you go. Take the poke bones. Take the rice, take some of them green beans, and right on the side, we got them potatoes. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all, uh, if my uh, cooking video, the first one is already loaded as of uh, today. Today is hump day, <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, it, it loaded today, so if you, if you haven't seen it, uh, if I can ask you to please go see it, you know, Give me some comments to tell me what how I how I did. Cause I know if I'm good and if I keep doing it, I would do a cooking video every Sunday if I can, because I cook only on Sundays as well. You know, so but then you know, sometimes on Friday, oh, uh, with the seafood boil that I do every Friday. Now this Friday, uh I will not be doing a uh a, a, a video um and this is why I'm so happy. My sister and her husband will be at the closing table tomorrow. Please uh, put them in your prayers uh, for their brand new house that they're uh, getting ready to buy. I'm so happy because I will be with them the whole weekend. 
unpacking and drinking and you know dancing and praising I'm telling y'all that's my joy and then the other joy for my son David him and his a uh, good friend Dom put them in your prayers as well they now have their own barbershop spot oh God is working when you believe mm. let me put that drink down when we talk about God he is working yeah yeah so that's why I, why I'm so happy you know um and so for who, whomever is growing and blowing yeah I will pray for you and I'm happy for you as well y'all this is our season this is our time us us y'all got to understand that it's us it's time to, to do your thing you know what what are you passionate about what do you think about when you're going to sleep? What are you thinking about when you wake up? That That's your passion. Put it in place. I, I, uh, I can't say that enough, y'all. Mm. Mm, leftovers. Y'all, this is the first time after Sunday that uh, I did this. Uh, it's been sitting in that refrigerator. It's really good. Oh, y'all, let me tell you what else I found. Look here. I'm gonna move this up. First of all, my towel says, always find joy in the journey. Y'all see that? Always find joy in the journey. I found that yesterday. And then I had, you know, nigger rig my platform to be here and I've always wanted to find something because I had my books under that uh, towel y'all but look I went in Burke's outlet and look what I found perfect a shelf uh yeah y'all know what this is <laughs> it was it's perfect it's perfect it's just really perfect for for my uh my videos y'all yeah and I always want to have something that y'all can see, but you really can't see it because I don't want to put the camera down. Look here, y'all. You know, you got to be happy for the small things because when the big things come in, you can know how to handle it. Remember what I said. And y'all, and I, you know, me and my sister has been on the phone today and we were talking about relationships, right? And y'all heard me say it and I said a thousand times. A thousand times, times, a thousand times. New relationships. Listen to what I'm about to tell you once again. When you're dating and when you're courting and then when you decide to be committed, you teach a man how to treat you by what you allow him to do to you. Do I need to say it again? Mm-hmm. I'll say this again. I will not. Once my God give me my man, he got to respect me because I'm going to respect him as my king. And he got to treat me like his queen because queen I am. That hood girl queen that is. Y'all already know. He can't talk to me crazy. And he can't raise his voice too many times at me. Because I believe that you can fix anything by talking. Simply talking. Let's sit down. Let's talk it out. Let's talk it through. Because we're not going to do this. I'm not going to do it. Y'all, I'm happy single. And y'all know I said that I do not want to die alone. And God already knows it as well. But before I go through some drama stuff with the man from cheating, for lying, for talking to me crazy, or even don't put your hands on me because I'm going to jail. And my family already know that. Because I went through that in my in my teen life. And a couple of my 20s. I don't do that. You can't put your hands on me because I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. Period. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, period. 
or however the hell they do it today, I will kill you. You put your hands on me. So, yeah. But, I'm just, I'm just in a space at 57. When you're this age and growing older, your mind has to change. You can't be the same when you was at 20 and 30. Not even 40. Can't do it. So again, our young couples are couples who are in new relationships. I look at black love. Do y'all look at black love? Black love, when you listen to the black love of, of the black couples, you learn. You really learn. All of us, when we go into a relationship, we all had a relationship before that one. But don't make your new partner go through what you went through with your others. Don't, don't, don't do that. A lot of people get into relations and new relations, that is, and they have a dark past and they never handle it. So when you go into your new space, you know, when you're shutting down and your partner don't understand why, you know, you have to be transparent in every relationship that you get into. you got to be transparent. So people can help you. That's what a, 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 a committed relationship is about. It's about trust. It's about loyalty. And if you don't have that in your new relationship, you better run in the other direction that is. Because what you allow to happen and you don't do anything about it, just get ready because that's going to be your life. And you're going to be miserable. So men and women, I encourage you. Put God first in everything you do, in every situation where you are, in every circumstance. He has to be there to guide you, to help you, to strengthen you. To build you up where you're torn down and strengthen you in your weakness. That's what he does when you put him there. And he'll help you through the trial times. And I'm going to say something else that I've said. When you just uh, want to be committed just for a boyfriend or a girlfriend... Don't live together. Because for me, if you're just my boo thing, that means you don't have husband priorities. You can't come when you're thinking about me. You can't come because you was in the neighborhood. You can't get a key to my house. And you can't spend the night every time you want to. It, don't, it, it, ain't, it ain't like that. Mm -mm. I'm telling y'all, I look at many new relationships. I hear it. People call me and I'm thinking like, okay. One thing I believe in, if your man or your woman is treating you ill-fitting ways and you still there, it was not bad enough. Because we have a choice every day to choose. So, if you calling me or texting me and telling me what you're going through, it ain't hard. It, it ain't bad if you still there. So figure it out. Work it out. I leave. Oh, y'all, look at my shirt.
That's my selfish side when I'm in a relationship. If I lick you, then it's mine. <laughs> On your jaw, that is. Get your mind out the gut. Mm-hmm. And y'all, this wisdom that I have, God gave it to me. I didn't give it to myself. But because I went through some stuff, I can talk about it. Mm -hmm. And what I'm talking about is just not for young people, it's for us all. Because you know, sometimes these old men, they want to bring their baggage too. And older women. Because we're human beings first. Our humanists, if I can say, first. I got a bone somewhere. So look here. Just remember this. Do a minute. Mm. That's good. Mm. Y'all know what poke bones. They have hiding places. <laughs> mm -hmm. Salute, y'all. Salute. So do y'all understand what I'm trying to say? It's a YouTuber that I know. Her name is Be The Difference. She is the most positive person. She got some books on the market. It, it, go look at her. I'll put her, her, her hashtag down below. But click on it and just go listen to her talk. She is a very positive person. And she has positive acclamations in her book. You know... YouTube just it's just saturated with a whole lot of stuff. All you gotta do is put it in the search engine. You gonna find something that's gonna help you. And if it's not on YouTube, it's Google. Or you don't have a reason to stay stagnant. Okay, look here. Y'all already know. I believe in counseling. I believe in therapy. And I'm still going through it. My job gave me 12 free visits every episode. I am going to use them whether I feel better or not. Sometimes you just got to talk to the, you just have to talk to the professionals, right? So look here, y'all. Our time is out. We'll finish this again. Uh-huh. So let's get ready to sing ourselves out, y'all. And I ate a lot of my food. So let, let's get ready to sing ourselves out. Get your singing voice. Y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. It's time to say goodbye for now. We have another chance around on the other side. So whatever you're going to do for the rest of this home day, please do it good. And do it with genuine love. But it's time to go, y'all. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. And I mean that. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>